it's not a matter of if, but when the new coronavirus comes to the U.S. on a wider scale. The new virus and the disease it causes, COVID-19, is spreading, and experts say that at this point, you or someone you know will likely be exposed to the virus. So what does this mean for you? Well, now is the time to get prepared. Federal, state, and local governments are preparing. But the best way to prepare is on an individual level. The virus is transferred person to person. It causes a respiratory illness that comes with a cough and a fever, a lot like the flu. Most people will be able to fight it, like they do any other infection, with their own immune systems. But you can take precautions to avoid it too, just like we can with any other virus or infection. Round one. It might seem simple, but getting back to basics is the best way to prepare to fight the new coronavirus. One skill you need to level up is becoming a master at washing your hands. Get your hands wet and then scrub them with soap for at least 20 seconds. Don't know how long 20 seconds is? Just sing or hum the happy birthday song twice in your head. Round two. Next, avoid touching your face. Every time you touch your face, you risk transferring bacteria and viruses to your mouth, nose, and eyes. From there, they can easily get inside your body. So if you practice now, you'll be that much better at avoiding the virus when it comes to your community. Round three. Stop shaking hands and hugging when you say hello. It's really easy to hand deliver the virus this way. Round four. Experts say you need to prepare to stay home for at least two weeks and maybe up to four. To help you prepare, let's clear up some misconceptions. First, a quarantine is not a natural disaster. The power will still be on and your tap will still have water. So you don't need batteries and candles. And you definitely don't need cases and cases of water bottles. Second, don't buy masks. Masks are primarily for sick people and people caring for them. A mask will not stop you from getting the virus. Now let's talk about things you should start doing. First, get enough food to last for two to four weeks. It might help to stock up on food you like to eat when you are sick. Don't think that living like a college student eating ramen for three meals a day will be okay. Your body will thank you. Stock up on other essentials. Get some toilet paper and other toiletries. But again, you don't need eight cases of anything. If you hoard up on supplies, other people won't be able to prepare. Third, if you take medication, make sure you have a supply on hand. Talk to your doctor about your options. Fourth, and this is something a lot of people might overlook, but remembering your mental health during quarantine is really important too. If you had to stay in your home for two weeks, would you have enough things to do? Maybe get a book you've been putting off reading, or supplies for a project around the house that you want to do. You won't be working the entire time, and it would be good to have some things ready to keep you from tearing down the wallpaper, unless tearing down the wallpaper is a project you've been planning to do. If you do have symptoms, contact your healthcare professional. You should quarantine yourself for 14 days. That's the incubation period of the virus. Work from home, keep your kids home from school, and stay inside. Lastly, remember, don't panic. We don't know everything about COVID-19 yet, but we do know what it takes to be prepared. And we can all do that. <laughs>